it's it's three four things uh, so the the most important thing is the market uh, is whatever you're present in is it a large enough market like is it truly a large enough market uh, in india if you if you if you drill down from the most macro numbers every market is a large market uh, right but as we've discovered in the past cold the juice market is huge but the cold press market is not huge and so on and so forth right so i think number one is an honest assessment of whether the market is large or not uh, that's probably 50% of the problem done uh, number two is do you have uh, you know does the founder or uh, the the founders do they have clarity of vision uh, now this is not normally important when you're when you're a businessman or a businesswoman right because the way business gets done is you put one foot in front of the other and you learn over time and you get the time to mature uh, right and 5 years later or 10 years later so uh, if you study the way big businesses have gotten built in india or elsewhere you know the way it was done was somebody very entrepreneurial got started with one shop or one restaurant or one like hotel or something like that ran that for 10 years then they got enough money to acquire a second then they ran that for 10 years then 20 years later they developed the maturity the clarity uh the confidence to explode and then the next 10 years was explosive growth but that's not how venture funding works so therefore you need clarity of vision way in advance of uh the experience um uh, and and it's it's a rough proxy it's not a great proxy but it's what they have the third thing is do you have the ability to attract people to your cause uh, to your business very very often again because we're talking about pre revenue and so on and so forth you will need to attract people and sell them a dream um which uh, is slightly irrational uh, right like good people shouldn't be joining you uh, because the business is very small and it's very risky so are you like when somebody looks at you do they see this person as the kind of person who can evangelize this business who can get people in uh and and join this like join this cause which is extremely risky and the fourth the corollary to that is are you the kind of person who investors see uh, as being able to attract the right kind of capital as well which is ironic because after all you are asking them for capital but the truth is that uh, quite often the way investors the way it, not the highest quality investors but certainly some investors are thinking is i will give this person money but is this person the kind of person who will be able to get money 12 months later 18 months later from somebody else as well uh, uh, so um, those are the i think those are the four things that people are often looking at but the first two are the are the most critical